I buy them, but screws and anchors for screws, things like that. I put them in a jar and I, uh, I use them when I need them. And my dad had an interesting uh, system. He used to nail the lids of jars to the underside of a shelf in the garage. And then he would screw the jar on and that was his system to, to collect, store screws and then loose bolts and nuts and stuff like that. Anyway, I thought that was fun. Do other people do that? No. Oh. I love it. Hey, I I'd love it, love it, love it. Everybody, welcome to Six Degrees of a Belly Dancer. This is Tony and Shasha, and we have a very, very special guest with us today. This is Mr. D.B. Wayfield. How are you doing today, sir? I'm great. Couldn't be better. Awesome, Thank awesome. You. Thank you for joining us. So I've been looking at your Instagram and love it, man. Absolutely <laughs> love it. Yeah, this is great um, stuff. I see. It, 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 it really is. It, it, it really is. It's 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 refreshing sometimes when I find new artists and you see stuff like this. So talk to us. Talk to us. Well, I'm I'm very surprised um, because uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing, really. So um, I, I'd like to hear what would you find interesting about it, because to me, it's all just like in the moment kind of stuff, you know, and like when you just played that clip, I was like, I I was trying to remember yeah. why that was there. Um, of course, I have no idea because because all my stuff is very short and quick and in the moment and and like you know it is what it hey, is. And you know what? That how it should how it out. should be. Yeah, how it should be, man. I mean, they're quick and about, in the moment is is, is what gets us long. through day to day. You know, so yeah, short, definitely the back the music is very soothing. Your voice is very soothing. So you know this works for so many niches. I mean. People who like the mindless chit chat, the company, the loneliness. Let me tell you what, when I start, I listen, <clears> Tony, <throat> I listen to many, many episodes of yours, DB. I feel like I know you, but you don't know me. So I'm kind of a stalker now. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> hey, car careful, really DB, man. You know what? I mean, this chick, I, this chick has been two right now, but. Yeah, th this chick I has been stalking me since I was a sophomore in high school, man. Oh. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Only he had the truck. I'm so telling you. Off and get in the truck and drive away. Right. Exa exactly. Exactly. Yeah, this this chick's been stalking me since I was in tenth grade, man. But, no, I really feel like I know DB. I mean, let me tell you what. This is a man of many hats. He he's from Belgium. He lives in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, let me just just to run. Well, down the I. I mean, just look, look, looking at your studio where you're at right now, man. I'm just, I'm like jealous. I'm yeah, like, this is wow, the basement, the man. Real? That's yeah. the basement. Okay. This is the yeah. basement of uh, a house that my partner and I purchased a few years ago, a few, like eight years ago or something, which was in complete disrepair and right. um, to a certain extent still is in disrepair. Um, it looks pretty put together. So, I mean, that's well, kind of thank you. That's, that's nice. That's yeah. nice to hear. Yeah, but we yeah, love it. Yeah, we feel very we feel feel very fortunate. But for me, it's that, that you know to have this space to just be down here to um, oh, yeah. build and right. do my. Thing. I can it's really nice. well, space. You're right. I don't. I don't know if Shasha told you, but I'm like a uh, an extremely huge record collector. I, I she, well, I I, I I gathered that yes, uh, and and I I've actually done a lot of business with Brooklyn dealers and and LP dealers in Brooklyn. Oh, we met yeah. some people. Oh, some some of the best guys in the world, man, and always cut you the the best deal you can on those mint finds that you've been digging forever and ever and ever. And yeah, I've always had a good experience doing doing business with record brokers in Brooklyn. Oh, so yeah. I mean, there's some crazy cats <laughs> out here, but um, I'm not much of a record collector myself. I'm more of an appreciator. Um, right. I mean, I did bring some things because Shash had asked. Uh, I mean, fun thing tony i asked him to bring a record to the show okay and, and I was wondering what he would pick because kind of his little thing on his podcast is uh he started out he's a he's not ashamed to say that he's a hoarder and i can totally relate but he's been going through his stuff and i'm pretty sure that he might have found a record in there i mean Ooh. like that's how his your podcast lost lost hoard records stuff, cool. right and right. to know you that way through your stuff and then it's kind of turned into a little uh, personal journal of yours, which let me just, oh, I just want to quickly say 
It was awesome. It got my husband to clean out the cupboards in his <laughs> the chef, and we were listening to it. And he starts digging through the cupboards, and yeah, it was just it's it's the music. It's you're talking, and it really gets you doing some tedious stuff. I mean, well, I love I, it. right. I guess, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to capture is just like something mundane in a, in a way. And like, if somebody finds the mundane, like some beauty in the mundane, then let's, that's cool with me. You know what I mean? Uh, um, relaxing. I mean, it's like a friend is there. Like I said, I, I feel like I know you and you don't know me. And I'm <laughs> well, well, since I'm here, if you have any questions, now is a good time to ask. Well, I'm wondering if you found anything in the record at uh, area because I did tell Tony that I was going to have you uh, bring a record and I was interested in what maybe you've brought since right I, I, I do have I do have I do have one question though oh okay. go ahead Let, ask away one question enter life change and stuff talk to me yeah um it's it's really uh, it started so I uh I gave up alcohol a few years ago me too me too after, actually yeah. after a long long journey and uh oh that's nice man good for you um <laughs> i i uh and that was like um the start of a whole like a, a big adventure and i think that started this podcast as well um and you know i kept when people asked me like how are you feeling how are you doing um my answer in the beginning was like it's life-changing stuff right. and I was like, you know it's and that sort of like stuck with me and on and then you know, while sort of thinking about everything, I realized that there are three things that I can sort of categorize my entire existence into. And these these words really capture that. Um, life, obviously, you know, life. Right, it's, right. We're stuck, it, with, it's, we're stuck right. with change is the inevitable constant. And then, and then you know, stuff is all the material right. bullshit. And in my head, as well as or surrounding me, you know, and so right. that's kind of like my life together. Right. So, sort of, yeah, you know, well, um, it, 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 I, I liked it. It, 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 yeah, it resonated with me. That that resonated with me, sir. So I, I thank you for that one. So, mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah just listening, I've listened to about sixty, maybe seventy episodes. <laughs> well, you are now officially my uh, my greatest uh, listener. Like I said, I feel like I know you. I'm like, hello, stranger here. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't had a I haven't had a chance to listen to a, a, a full episode yet, but I really want to. Well, I really good. enjoyed your Instagram account. So I'm kind of going <laughs> to tell you, Tony, before I, it got to be seven o'clock so soon, because 10 minutes sure does. I hear you. But, right, right. So, oh, you want the record? So what, a Ooh, what do we have? What I do we thought, have? So because she mentioned the word appraising and that made me think maybe you're like you're an actual record collector, which I was right. Right. And so I, I borrowed a record from my partner. She doesn't know, um, <laughs> but it's like a very good record. And I played it today and it's uh, it's by the oh. MC5. Oh, and, oh my God. <laughs> so I, my in-laws are from the Detroit area. Oh. So if that is an original uncensored yeah. press... Uh, from 1967. Those are extremely rare. So if like it's it's an if it's an original uncensored, you could be looking at around five to six hundred dollars. So this one has this one also has a signature. Oh, oh damn! It has an autograph. Uh, so, um, please tell please tell me it's uh, Sonic. Oh, it's, okay. <laughs> it's, it's it's signed by a guy named Russ Gibb. Russ Gibb, okay. Okay, for those of the those of the those of those out there who cannot are not watching and just listening, what the heck record are we looking at? <laughs> We're looking at MC Five people. The, okay, the, 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 the found the founders of of Detroit punk man and the founders the, they're the there's the, they're the guys who did it man they're the guys who started the whole oh. fucking thing, you know. Awesome. Said, they are the number one. Them Velvet that? Underground. Yeah. Yeah, I love that it. Is, I love that stuff. It's 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 really strange to listen to now. Um, because when when I was younger, I wasn't really a fan of them, and I didn't really know much about them before I moved to the states. Right, so I, um, I'm, I'm amazed by some of the, the stuff they're saying here in this in this uh, big sleeve. Right, they're well, like we are wow. free men. They say they say like, uh, wait, hold on. 
just as I am, just to hear the music and have it be ourselves is what we want. We want what we need. We're lonely, desperate people pulled apart by the killer forces of capitalism and competition, and we need the music to hold us together. Separation is doom. We are free men, and we demand the free music, a free high energy source that will drive us wild into the streets of America, yelling and screaming and learning, sorry, tearing down everything that would keep people slaves. I mean, that's like, it's like, it's all about revolution and like, okay. Yeah. See, um, Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Is it yeah, yeah, there it is. Well, it is. and see, I I also have the uh, the total tear. <laughs> oh, nice! We don't have that one, I think. Yeah, this is well. This is like the set. It nice. has all their studio records in it. You know, kind of a thing. But yeah, they wow. they they are one of my favorites, and you know, their story is incredibly sad. You know, they were raided by you know they they did prison time. It, it was just horrible what these guys went through all to speak their mind and yeah, you know, yeah they were the up they 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 built the blocks that everybody else stood on you know so now tony do you know who russ gibb is the name is familiar i so just can't place it he was a i i also wasn't familiar with him until i found out about this through this record by my uh my uh, family but they he was a, a music writer a critic and he may have been a, he may have had a radio show as well but apparently he's the guy that started the rumor about Paul is dead. Oh. And yeah. you can yes. Google you can Google the shit out of that if you want. The, the, the you know the what dread the, 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 the dreaded enemy, man. I swear to God, <laughs> nobody is hated more than the rock critic, man. It, it... <laughs> give us some more details on give us some more details uh, on on what you're talking about here. Paul well, is dead, like a, a brief well, yeah, so, in a nutshell. You've you've heard of the Beatles, right? Yeah. So so Paul McCartney, um, at some point, I'll, I'll keep it very short, was presumed dead. Dead, and it was, yeah. It was based on playing one of the Beatles records backward or some shit, and then, right. and then this guy said it on the radio show, and and it went crazy. It was it, like yeah, it went wild. The theory before the internet, right? So people were talking about it all over the world, by the way. So it right. spread real, real far. Um, just by radio and, and newspaper. Right. Wow. So, oh, wow. Yeah. And, I, and that's like, that makes me think of, that makes me think of the power of, of, of the youth that the youth have today, right? With the internet right. and the crazy apps and all this yeah, that's social media scary. and stuff. It's, it's unbelievable that um, it all exists and, and not, not much better is coming out of it. <laughs> right. What, what right. would you appraise that record at, Tony? Well, if, if that is an original uncensored press from the Autograph. 1967 autographed, yeah, from the radio DJ, we could be talking into the thousands. So, wow. Yeah. No, that's All right. Yeah, it's that's, yeah, the, that's the, 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 number, the number could go astronomical on a piece like that. So oh, those, wow. ones are, those ones are really, really rare. Well, what so, a, what yeah. about what about this one though? Because now that we're going, I brought a few more. Yeah, what else you got there? More. Let's see. Yeah, let's see what else you got. An original press of Grover ah. Swings the Blues. Oh from my 1970. God! <laughs> Love it. Grover Swings the Blues. Have you heard that's, it? That's, yeah, yeah, I have actually. That one's actually pretty cool. That one sells pretty shit. decent for around forty-five dollars. <laughs> so. Not a bad one. But yes, yeah, that, Grover. Yeah, Grover. You're right, dude. I he shows I up. think I might have that in. <laughs> uh, Tony, yeah, do you have that like maybe the seven I, inch of that? Well, for a second there, it looked like something else, and for a second I thought it was, but then I seen it and I was like, okay, it's. A, I thought it was this this band called the Thirteenth Floor Elevators because huh. they one of their first albums looked like that, and that's like a thirty thousand dollar record. No shit. So I I just wow. about shit my pants there for a second, but oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to disappoint. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. But. awesome cool okay well you know what we almost have about uh about a minute left and um yeah so basically right. we're just here to like let everybody know that mr db hey can i say your real name is dalton right yeah sure yeah absolutely mr dalton he used to go by mr vp but he put that to sleep that's a long story that we could you say for another you time, but um, it has to do with all. It has to do with money and copyrights and weirdness. Oh, oh so. copyrights! Well, Tony knows about. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like I'm making any serious money, so it doesn't right, matter. Right, right. 
you know. Um, right. But also, um, I'm, hello. So that was your phone. Yeah, it looks like we got to go to a commercial break. But when we come back, let's hear about that. Cool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, Cloak of Ravens, right? Is that correct? Yes, thank yeah. you, Cloak of is, Ravens. Is that the, the Cloak uh, of Ravens? Okay, so this is, uh, what the fuck is this? This is weird stuff. Okay. Yeah, DB, <laughs> DB, be sure to follow these guys, DB. Follow these guys. Going to, I'm, I'm excited to, to <laughs> learn more about the music that you're listening to. Okay, so this this is not the normal music that I listen to every day, but um, I've become kind of a uh, I don't know an expert on black metal, and mm -hmm. so <laughs> sometimes people give me these songs that are really weird. So it's it's two minutes, it's two different songs, two minutes, and they're a husband and wife duo from Sweden, and Possibly. they're yeah. <laughs> there's not a whole lot of information I've been able they might to dig be brother up on or them, sister. But... I don't know. Right, right. But um, anyway, uh, here's these two songs. We'll talk. We'll talk to you in about four minutes. Sure. Follow oh. them. Cloak of Ravens. From Sweden. Okay. They're real. They're they're always they're very very. They love OAS. They love you, Tony. This... They love your OAS. So I was like. It's only fair we play their music. And it's, it's right. <laughs> oh no. 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 One more to go. One more. One more to go. One more to go. Rune and Mesma. Like a child's will of a 
You know what? I, I I will say they are trippy, Whoa. man. They um, they. That's good guitar. For, for just two, guitar. for just two of them to do it. I mean, yeah, and you know, with the unconventional style and the heavy tremolo picking. You know, I get it. You know, it's it's hardcore. It's pretty, but I I don't know. There's just something different about it. I don't know. Like uh, it's kind of like Evanescence meets black metal kind of a you know, thing. You know, at first it takes a little getting used to. At first it, ta- it, it does a take it, used it, to, but once you get the guitar and that little beat in there and when I was learning, I like the intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's the like it, it, you know, cool. it's a beautiful setting, and then like it, what happens after that really fits that. I think it's right. I, yeah. I, and I searched everywhere to try to find some live footage of them, but I've I've, been, mm. I've, I've come up empty. Well, every they're time. they're brand new. They're new. They're new. They're brand so new. So they made this in their yeah. apartment. I'm I'm thinking. Well, and... well, they're starting. They're starting to produce, but I they, they have multiple us, records. And I I was listening. I'm like, man, Brent, these guys are really good. And I never really listened to this before, but hey, I, I think they liked my black metal show. Yeah. <laughs> from my open air sonar. I... That's right. <laughs> How um? Tell me the name of the band again. That is Cloak of Ravens. Oh, Cloak uh, and of Ravens. Cloak of Ravens. And the first song was called uh, Esoteric Revelations and the Night the Varg Ceased to Be. Ah. The second song is called uh, Those Who Spite the Stars. Oh, yeah. Nice. That one. That one's off their new album, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely. DB, follow them. Yeah. See if any of your students. Um, oh, by the way, Tony, he's a he's a school teacher. Ah, I know. So I'm sorry about my position. vocabulary. It's very poor. <laughs> I can't talk with the crap. So sorry. My um, I I had a student uh, a few years back who was uh who played death metal, bass, and guitar, and Ooh. she was a phenomenon. It was just incredible. Yeah. And uh-huh. she would like. I, was, I would always like try to get her to come to school and play, but she. she I, I I am also a huge death metal fan. Like mm. I I love death metal and I, like yeah, uh, car- carcass. Uh, mm you know obituary you know uh death I, hey db I what, black, what kind metal. of music do you play you db well, never talks about what he plays i don't um i don't really stick to much of uh anything really <laughs> like you i kind of play whatever huh i mean in your for, band. usually what i do is i noodle on the guitar and songs come up i like to write songs and sing um and then if I have the opportunity to play bass, which is my main instrument that I started playing as a teenager, I play with friends in in different bands, and they're they're usually rock or right. sort of Americana inspired. Uh, you know, we're old. We're like we right. can't we can't rock out that hard anymore. Dude, so you know, I I know like so I Skinny Puppy is like my favorite band in the entire world, and when they did their last yeah, shows, yeah. they were in San Francisco, which is about an hour drive from where I live, and I'm thinking, oh. I got to get up and go to work tomorrow. I don't know if I can do this, you know. And even though I don't drink anymore, you know, it's still like, yeah. okay, I got to drive into the city and I got to drive back <laughs> and I got to get up and go to work. But, and I, I went and I did it. But damn, right. yeah, I, I stand in the back now. And <laughs> well, the last, I'm, I'm very lucky, first of all, to live in Brooklyn and there's like right. so much out here. But I, um, there's a bar literally a block and a half away from where I live. And it's a really fantastic neighborhood place that also has live music. And so that's the my the last few times I played shows, it was right there. And I literally just like walked to the corner and back. And you know, right. that's really fun. Once yeah, a well, year I sit really... down with a band, once a year for uh, Mardi Gras, we do a, a giant uh New Orleans show here, which is oh, really nice. really cool, sort of funky meter stuff and Dr. Right. John and Break that kind of music. Zanico. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, no, we don't really go into the Zydeco. It's really just oh. the funk and just the uh, funk. Ah, yeah. I, I have a, a, a to me. Yeah. I, I got a night tripper copy, Dr. John. Nice. One of my favorites, man. The Gree Gree's the Gree Gree man. Cool. But um so, uh, yeah, I, so... I, I actually I actually have a show coming up on Easter. 
Oh, yeah, the whole the, the okay. Holy Trinity tour is uh, this Easter. Uh, it's at oh, a place yeah. called the Starlight in Sacramento here, and it's going to be uh, Be Steel Mouths, uh, Speak Machine, and Sign. So these are the right. up and coming women in, of industrial music. They're they're three different bands fronted by women, and they are industrial's newest female players. And what's uh-huh. your what's your uh, what's your band? I do a small project at home. It's called State State Sanctioned Contraband, uh-huh. and it's what? industrial. <laughs> nice. I okay. haven't released anything yet. I've made a few songs. I did a cover of "Coming to America" by uh, what? Neil oh, Diamond. Send that to me because I you didn't tell it's, me it's, this. It's really dark, so <laughs> you know it has a lot oh. of Trump samples and stuff in it. <laughs> oh wow! So oh, wow. I haven't enough. released it yet. I'm thinking about it. Um, it was really, just release it, man. Just do it. It was really <laughs> difficult programming. Yeah, get out there. Yeah, get out there. <laughs> it's going to offend a lot of people, man. How about you, DB? How about your singing? Are you singing and playing bass, or just singing? I have a, yeah, no, I do. I have some stuff up online under a different name, so um, oh. I don't know if I should promote that. But it's like wow. it's it's on SoundCloud. I have a Give thing. Give us a teaser. Um, yeah, a it's teaser. um. Let me see. Uh, oh, you want me to play something? You do, yeah. Holy uh, let me stop you know my share. Do a share screen. Um, I'm just going to my old music account here. Let's see. Okay. Um, my... And then, you know, on the Zoom, you do a share screen for the sound, maybe? Let's see if that is going to work. I can't promise. We can we can teach you right now because we learned. <laughs> I wasn't. I'm not. I wasn't prepared. I thought I could just play, we, play we a song. Can teach, we could teach you right now. Yeah, yeah we, we just learn as we go. That's how the this. last we're like what? Oh what is this my button do? Oh my um, god. Well, I um. Let you guys tell- should just talk while I do this. Okay. <laughs> while I look at something. <laughs> Tell us, tell us, DB, um, tell us about, I was listening to uh, some of your episodes and there was an episode where you said, well, my partner just found out I have a podcast. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, that was interesting to me. I'm like, really? Well, you didn't tell her that. Well, it's, no, it's because, because like it's complicated, but um, I, um, one of the, one of the things that, that I, uh, I, I started using a, um, I called one of the episodes something and it was a reference that only very few people could know. And I think her sister <laughs> found out and she's like, he's using our thing. And I'm like, Oh, I didn't know it was proprietary. <laughs> so, and then, she, and then no, but like it, she knew, she knew I was doing a, a like a, a, a sobriety journal type thing, but oh, wow. no, I did it. Okay. And she didn't know I was making it public. So there was that. Well, surprise, surprise. Uh, surprise yep. That's surprise. awesome. Good. Did you figure out yeah. the sound on the on the thing? I did not because I got okay. super distracted. Oh, and so then I was like, oh, <laughs> they want to hear a song of mine. Okay. Um yeah. it's all um I don't know. Let's see. Hey, DB, you keep you keep checking that out and do the um share screen audio on your zoom thing. yeah well i you know what i'm gonna talk for a second while you're fishing around there and you don't have to listen please. to me oh, because actually, we actually a- i do have something to tell you tell What's us that? so may 29th in salt lake city i don't know what the date is for brooklyn but uh may 29th lords of acid at a music hall in salt lake city yeah i know because gay are you going is the drummer for Julian K is also the drummer for that band. And no, I'm going to Julian K and that's oh where I God. like to see the G man drummer. Yo, <sighs> but Hey, they're coming with, can I, I'm going to make a drop too right now. I'm going to uh, go tonight, to Acid tonight in San Francisco, here. tonight in San Francisco at what's it called? Um, the DNA lounge. Thank you. Julian K tonight with September morning and priest. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, our best friends riddled with, is playing at Home Depot or at Home Depot. They're playing at Home Depot. Home Depot. <laughs> no, they're playing at the Depot uh, for um, Pepper Road. I'm not Lake, sure though. who that is, but it's kind that's of a, a big a, deal. We're going to dress a, up. It's Halloween. That's in, that, that's in Salt Lake City. Yeah, the Depot. Oh. Um, it's going to be a uh, Halloween. Um, Halloween Never Dies Volume 2 with Pepper Rose. But yeah, um, oh. Riddled With is... Um, Hey, you got it to share. Sweet. And you have the sound of sharing? Were you sharing um, audio? 
Well, I I have never live done a, a streaming like this live streamed as well, but um, hey, we learned I just a lot. lost it. Okay, so this is my this is my SoundCloud where I put all my demos from past and present, and they're very much like my my um oh, my nice. um my my podcast and my my writing. I do I I write a lot on medium. I actually wrote an article about uh vinyl records. You should check it out. Oh. Um but the um yeah, so my music is just usually um very minimally produced. Um Looking I'll play good. this one because I I like this I like this one Ghost of a Dead Love that, that that's a good song. Do you hear that? I'm still tying up yes. with this chase the ghost around. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Stop it for a sec. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now go into Tony. We talk him through how you did me, where you go in, down to the share screen and then go yeah, over to click on now. the share screen and then you go over to computer audio and click the button that says share. But make sure you move over the tab to advanced, right? Or yes. video. Yes, advanced advanced tab and then it'll say share computer audio correct this is how tony and i learn we learned Oof. like live we're like hey world would you like to learn us learn our equipment no so but, high tech but, but to she's crazy she's crazy man she was making me learn this stuff while we were trying to do live shows this is all you know, I'm, I'm gonna go for. live okay. tonight i'm yeah, like what because before <laughs> yeah we would just record them she would send them to me and then i would edit them and put them together and put them out you know it wouldn't be a live show but yeah. then well, she's we all, were both we're gonna, and then she's would, all forcing me to do live shows <laughs> So we had to learn it that way. Wait, people are ask, actually listening to this right now? Oh, yeah, we're live on YouTube. I put a little memo out on Six Degrees of a Belly Dancer that said we will be live with. And I. Yeah, I, know. I mean, I was I was only I was a little kidding. Oh, little hardy, hard, hard. Did you figure out? Okay. The like, I'm, 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 I actually found out what live streams are a while ago. We found out live. <laughs> you know um, there, there's a you know live streaming is huge in china oh dude i, oh. I hear they have oh i, I saw a video the he other day of there. like of yeah. like uh what were they called content factories where they've got people in little cubicles that look like Absolutely. little rooms and they've got a little person in there that sits and dance in front of the little round light with the phone and yep. <laughs> and there's like and there's like hundreds of them in this building they're content <laughs> factories uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, dude. They're they're not yet. Ooh. Recording stopped. You guys around? I'm here. Where did Shasha go? She's gone. Oh well, shit. Her, her internet connection looked like it dropped. Interesting. 